see what a beautiful McDonald's looks right. like. Plus we need Wi-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> which is fine, it's about how much I need. Then we had, this is an Egg McMuffin, and you can see it's a little different ham, but the same basic idea, and it's got some cheese on it. And then we had to order soup, because evidently, it, the people of Portugal are such soup people that if you don't have soup at McDonald's, they won't buy in, so they have soup. So we ordered their uh, traditional soup, which is a cabbage soup. And you can kind of see it's very finely shredded cabbage soup with one piece of ham in it. <laughs> and it is McDonald's after all. So it tastes a little like split pea. It's very watery and virtually no flavor. <laughs> but it's interesting. And then we got two Diet Cokes. These are their larges, you can see. This is about the size of a, between a small and a medium in the US. So that's what we had and we're having fun and we're gonna see if the internet works now. <laughs> but it is, as advertised, one of the prettiest McDonald's. This is the modern section downstairs for seating. You know, where I got some shots of the beautiful work upstairs. Uh, I don't know, 16, 18 euros a piece? 16 euros a piece. 
16 or 18 euros a piece for a two day pass to ride the bus. We'll hop has, on, hop off. Right. It has two paths, an orange one and a purple one. And we were going to take the orange one and go around town today. And then tomorrow we take the purple one and go out to the beach. Guess what we didn't we do. We got on the wrong bus. We didn't ask <laughs> what bus we were getting on. We got on the purple bus. So we're taking a two and a half hour preview yes. drive. Because we're not quite ready to go to the beach today. <laughs> not quite. But so. we're identifying all the good places to stop along the way, including fish markets where they cook fish right out right out on the edge of the street. And it's grilled and it looks wonderful. So we are going to do that tomorrow. So We'll be back tomorrow. One of the prettiest things about this town are the tiled roads. They're beautiful. Super sweet, and it's not crazy. It's just right. And it's got substance to it. I mean, it's actually a significant thing to eat. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we have what is on that? Oh, that's just a foam. It's milk. Cortada. No, that's not what it's called. Actually, the young lady told me that in Portugal, almost no one calls it a pingo. Well, if you look it up, it says pingo. Uh, we're in Bergen. From an abbey in 11, made an abbey in 1128. I don't think is that the, yeah, is that the name of it? That's it. Wow. I'm hoping it wasn't made then. I don't think this actual <laughs> batch was made in 1128. I don't know. We're arguing over whether those hands are real. <laughs> Here comes soup. Vegetable soup. Yum. Yummy. Those look good too. What are those? And two. Two are cod and two are pork. Two are pork because they're famous for their pork here.
want a drink of uh, port wine in the fruit. Thank you, bro. And I'm not sure what all is in it or what kind of fruit this is. It's really good. It's got raspberries. You can see the fruits in it. It's tasty. Kind of like that acacia. <laughs> Yeah. Drink. Yeah. Needs a bigger straw. <laughs> Needs a bigger straw. It's really tasty though. Right? Yeah, I like it. It's good. Tonight's dinner, we have tapas of clams. Thank you. Enjoy it. Cheese with uh, a paste, fruit paste. And a big salad with tons of prosciutto on top. And cheese. It looks great. Oh, figs. Figs. Sweet. I'm digging the clams. Uh, so here we are on the Jural River looking across uh, at Porto behind us. And uh, we just had a really excellent dinner, which we had some food. And we're going to go in for a port wine tasting, tasting and uh, a tour of the winery. We're just going to store it. Not where they make it, where they store it. Yeah, take a look behind us to see how pretty that is. It's just yesterday where we just walked to it and then they served us some red and some white port and took us on a tour through their caves and then they had singers who sang the fado which is like a love song I guess to I think it's designed to be for lovers that are lost and gone and so it traditionally is sung by men but this one had both men and women, so 